Hi everyone, we're making aloo gosh in the instant pot today. I'm going to go over the ingredients first. I have 3 fourths cup of oil that I'm going to pour in here. You can reduce the amount of oil or add to it as per your requirement. I have 2 pounds of beef, 1 large onion sliced, 4 medium tomatoes blended, 3 potatoes cubed. I have one teaspoon, uh, one and a half teaspoon salt. I have half teaspoon haldi, turmeric powder. I have one teaspoon red chili powder, one teaspoon paprika, one tablespoon coriander powder, one tablespoon curry powder, and one four teaspoon garam masala allspice. And I have one and a half tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. So first we're going to start off with browning our onions. So I have the oil in there. My instant pot is in the saute mode. So we will first saute the onions. They're, they're nice light golden brown. And then we'll do the next step. So once the onion is brown, I'll just, I'm just going to skip this part so it's faster and you guys can, you know, just have a quick go of the recipe since it's a very easy recipe so I'll be back once the onions are brown okay guys our onions are nicely brown we don't have to make them too dark brown so at this point I will add the beef I will also add one and a half tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. I will go ahead and list all the ingredients and their measurements at the bottom of the recipe too. Again, do do like my um, page and uh, my channel and subscribe so you can get notification when I ever upload new videos. So we'll just saute it for a minute or so just so the beef changes its color. It's a very easy recipe. What I will do is I will go ahead put everything together then we're going to pressure cook for 23 minutes. Uh, when I make the beef just by itself I do around 25 minutes and uh, we like our beef well done and soft because I have small kids they they just don't want it to be hard so it's easier for chew and should be soft. So then I will open back the instant pot put my potatoes with some hot water and then I will again uh, pressure cook for two minutes just so the potatoes are done. If you want the second uh, time when you put the potatoes you can just cover it and cook but why not when we can do it fast. So see the beef has changed its color. We're gonna go ahead and add all the spices. Again I will list them all below in the description box so it's easier for you guys. Let's just saute it for a minute just so that it's equally some people add uh, yogurt in um, aloo gosh also but uh, it depends on you and some people say if you add tomatoes then don't use yogurt but it's up to you it's what you have in hand it's a very easy like a stew salad recipe so just do it according to your taste the masalas are melwakes i have four blended tomatoes i will be adding my tomatoes make sure everything you take everything in there just mix it well let it just get a little bit hot on the saute mode and then um I will add the water and uh, show you the front to see how we close it and what we do next. So I'll take you in the front of the instant pot. Okay everyone, you can see it's bubbling, it's hot. I will be adding two around two cups of water. So we give it in a gravy. And like I said, my trick, I usually eat uh, add hot water to it just so that it can come to pressure fast. That was one cup. And I will add one more cup of water. We eat it with white rice, so obviously we need more curry. 
so at this point that's enough of what we need if i need more water i can add it when i will add my tomatoes so we'll go ahead and close the instant pot make sure it's always in the ceiling position we will come in the front I will go ahead and cancel the saute mode. We're going to go in the pressure cook and I will take it up to 23 minutes. And that's it. We'll wait till it beeps and the pressure is done. As soon as the 23 minutes are over, I will do a quick release and then I will add the tomatoes and uh, see if we need more water. And then again from there, we'll uh, add the two potatoes and again pressure cook for uh, three minutes, two minutes. So uh, once it's done, I'll come back and show you guys the next step. Okay, everyone, the timer is up. 23 minutes are done. So I will just go ahead and quick release. Once the, all the pressure is out, then I'll open the lid and show you inside. Okay guys, uh, the pressure is down, so I'll go ahead and open the lid. Let me go ahead and check the beef. See, it's perfectly done. There you go, it's breaking. So I think there's enough water for now. So I will go ahead and just add the potatoes. There, these are three medium tomatoes. I think we're good, I don't need more water. So I will go ahead and close the lid again. Make sure it's in the ceiling position and I'll go ahead and pressure cook for two more minutes. We will come back here, go back into the pressure mode, bring it down to just two minutes. Or you know what, three minutes is fine. I just want the potatoes to be ready to serve. I don't want to just cook them again and cover the lid and all that. So let's do it three minutes. It's on. Once the three minutes are up, then I'll come back and show you inside. Okay, the timer is off and uh, I will just go ahead and press cancel and then I'll go ahead and quick release from here. We just wait till the quick release is done and then we'll open it. Okay guys, the pressure is down. I'll go ahead and open the lid. It looks good. Let me go ahead and check if my potatoes are done. Look at that. That's a little bit, I guess, maybe a few more minutes, but I'm not going to close the... I'm, I'll just go ahead and bring it back into the saute mode. And uh, we'll just give it maybe three, four minutes. We also want the oil to come on the top, just fall out the alu goshes. I'll go ahead and just taste it and make sure all the spices are correct. Everything is good. And remember, whatever measurements I put in there, you guys can always change the quantity of salt the red pepper anything according to your taste so lest i'm not going to put it to the ceiling mode but i'll just give it few minutes on the saute mode uh, just so that like a little bit of potatoes are to be done more so i'll just go ahead and just leave it on the saute mode like that give it like three minutes and then um, i'll be back to show you how it goes okay everyone it's been like um, nearly two to three minutes so i'll just go ahead and open the lid See, the color looks better, the oil has come on the top, and yes, the potatoes have started to break. So, I don't want them to lose their shape like some of them are. So, we're ready to go. Look at that, it looks perfect. So, at this point, I will add a quarter teaspoon garam masala more just on the top. No, more, not even quarter, just a little half of the quarter, I would say. And then I will go ahead and add the cilantro and green chilies. I'm just going to save some for my um, garnish in the bowl. And it looks perfect. So we go ahead and plate it. So. 
so we're just gonna garnish some on the top and our alu gosh or the beef with potatoes is ready i hope you like it i will go ahead and uh, add all the details of the ingredients in the description box please do like my video and uh, subscribe to my channel so you can be in touch with whatever new recipe i post thank you have a good day see you guys later